All right, welcome back, everybody, for game two of Calculative Throw vs. The Found Vikings. This is off-brand serial cast brought to you by me, Mad Buddha, Rakuten, and MDP. So who do we have here playing for the Calculated Throw, the blue team, MDP? On our blue team, we have Grivent playing Anna again. We have Scooterman going for some fiery KT. Strugans going to be on the Muradin once more. Fear is going to be zipping around with Tracer, and Mystic is uh, being unnerfed on Diva. And in the red corner, fighting for the demons of hell, the found Vikings team of Contender on Malthael, Dicky on Varian, Ironware playing the Elite Torn and Chieftain. Cyan back on the drunk rat and Sailor Sky making his second appearance on Alexstrasza. <laughs> Let's get into the action. Is that actually what ETC stands for? Elite yeah. Torn Chieftain? Elite Torn Chieftain. I never knew that. He is he is the elite foreign chieftain. That That's makes so much sense. Whoa, oh, man. Strugan's going in there, but a big bomb coming out from Kael'thas. It's gonna do a ton of damage to Contender and Dicky. Strugan's easily gonna get about get out of there and heal back up as Murden. But Sailor Sky is a uh, provably great healer, at least uh, according to the last game. Should be able to get his teammates right back up. Contender Malthale duking it out with Kael'thas in the bottom lane. Scooterman was on Urel last game, now on the Kael'thas. It's an interesting switch up going from the front line to back line on like that. Indeed, we'll see how it uh, works out for him. It's a very interesting way they're playing the map here early on the side of the Found Vikings. They've made a lot of uh, very aggressive rotations for picks. And they're making them to uh, unusual sides. Usually tops go between, or teams go between middle and bottom lane, not middle and top as much. It's very nice to see this happening. Whoa, first blood already. Malthale falling to Scooterman. Looks like he is uh, maybe playing one of his more... Well, comfortable, comfortable characters. Yeah. We'll say that. Taking out the mouth ale early, but uh, Varian coming down to soak that wave. Not going to be too much lost in terms of this early game. Apparently, Tracer is ready to use pulse bomb. It says so on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Glad that she's alerted me. This oh, oh man, the gate coming in. Etc slides in, going for the Anna. He is going to be able to get out there nicely pulse from Sprugans. Wow, that was pretty close. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of near misses happening for a little bit. Near misses from who? Both sides. I mean, other than the uh, one solo kill up in there. Oh, Alex Straza? No, oh, Tracer going in, but immediately gets stunned by the Varian. Jumped on by the Malthale. Five people mid here for the found Vikings. They don't pick up a kill, though. These heroes are on point. Yeah, no kidding. I've been thoroughly impressed by Grevin in both games. He's easily <laughs> my favorite player on Calculated Throw. I'm hoping to see more big plays from him this game, especially after he carried that fight on his shoulders on practice in game one. Two uh, Mark Camps coming out just in time for the uh, point to be up. Sure, it'll be interesting to see if they leave Malthale to clear mid Merc camp or if they come up here as five, because right now it's five before. I'm wondering if calculated throw is uh, gonna take advantage of that. ETC is sliding in, he's gonna have to get back out though. He's down a person, they don't have Malthale, he's gonna be taking damage from that tail thoughts. Oh it ends up oh, not spreading the bomb. But he does get stunned, ETC big, but he slides away, he's not going to get caught by the Muradin, and Muradin is going to get caught by wow. himself! Wow, Sailor Lots of damage Sky. coming out from Kael'thas, the bomb onto the Varian, can they get him in the back? Malthael is on the Kael'thas, he is going to be very, very low, picked up the kill by the Alexstrasza. Diva now in trouble, although Ironware, ETC also getting pretty low. What a nice fight there from, uh, from the found Vikings. 
I enjoyed that turnaround. It looked like uh, ETC was about to go down, but in fact it was Muradin who went down. Yep, he didn't have the rest of his team behind him. Uh, calculated throw not going deep enough to get that ETC kill, but uh, Muradin overextending a bit and getting himself killed, and that is going to allow the Found Vikings to pick up that first Punisher. It's going to be, it looks like an Arcane Punisher. Let's see what they can get out of this. I gotta say, I was really impressed by Sailor Sky in that last fight. Easily the reason ETC was able to survive in the early portion of that game. A huge peel play and some great healing. Uh, truly, both of these teams are uh, being absolutely carried by their majestic healer play on both sides through these matches. <laughs> what the heck is this Punisher doing? <laughs> <laughs> that Punisher's going in. <laughs> John Cena has got into your backline. They actually might uh. be able to hold this uh, fort here. Wow, that was great. Does feeling. look like it. Diva getting a little bit low there, but nothing that her bomb won't be able to get rid of. I shouldn't say peeling. I should say it was a great pull of the uh, Punisher all the way down so that it wouldn't continue to wail on the fort. That was a. Uh... Very high brain play. They must watch a lot of HGC. <laughs> oh, top side. Fight here at the top. And it actually gets picked out. And the tongue coming out from the Varian Ooh. is going to finish her off. Strugans and Fear not able to do anything about that. The four man gank really uh, doing well there. Ooh, Diva. Oh, another Bush Cheese. Two in a row. Rugans not liking this. However, Kael'thas is back up. It is now a 4v5. Ooh. Fear is going to take a big hit, but also the bird is getting very low. Here comes the bomb out from Diva. Scooterman in the back is going to get taunted Ooh. and completely destroyed. Ouch. The CC coming out from the Found Vikings is really doing work for them in these team fights. Yeah, I'm enjoying the fact that uh, Found Vikings are finding some picks. Yeah. Well... If they found the Lost Vikings, I guess they'd be pretty good at finding picks, too. The CC this game that they <laughs> picked uh, is a lot better at finding those picks, and they are executing on it way better than they did uh, in the Braxis holdout game. No kidding. It's like they had the same idea in mind, but uh, I feel like the way they've been approaching these fights with much bigger flanks in the Bush Jesus has allowed them to find higher priority targets, and this play mm -hmm. style is definitely suiting the kind of heroes they seem to enjoy so much. But Scooterman was uh, really out of position in that last fight, so it wasn't too hard for the found Vikings to clean up. Usually on his, out of uh, position, and their uh, excellent healer Anna. Oh, was, down uh, bottom. Up earlier. Diva's getting chased by Cyan. Uh, Diva looks like she's gonna go down here. Junkrat is gonna be able to pick up that kill. Mystic was yes. looking to get some uh, last right stack there, but I don't think he got it. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. You know, we saw, this, contender. we saw this last game, the Found Vikings picking up those early kills, but unless they can transition into that late game and get the rotations on point, we might be seeing a second uh, Braxis holdout um, situation on our hands. Well, now that we have tens on both sides, MVP, what are you thinking of uh, these ult choices? Do you have a side that you think is doing, made some better choices, I guess to say, has a better chance going towards the mid game here? Well, it's interesting that they put Stage Dive with ETC. They really uh, looking to keep doing some rotational plays with him, keeping him on the far side so we can jump in. Otherwise, I'm uh, only mildly concerned about the Riptire on Junkrat again. He was uh, knocking people in some interesting directions with that last Ooh. game. Oh, uh, Strugans maybe looking for that. Nope, he is not going to get it. going to get stopped by uh, Malfail there. And the point is up. Point is up. Here we go, Scooterman in the front once again. He doesn't, really doesn't want to get caught out he, without ETC down here. It's going to be less, but Cyan very low. Here comes the ETC in. Mystic is going to get have to get out of there. And a taunted in the back. Follow up. Junkrat Tire is going to kill the rest of the health off of Tail Boss. Strugan's now going to go down. Sailor Sky. That is a three for none for the Found Viking. That's a very nice life binder on yeah. that Malfeo. Honestly, like I said, I really think it comes down to the support play. There was an early pick on Anna in that fight, and Sailor Sky stayed alive and healthy the whole time, keeping his team up. Big life binder. And Anna wasn't even able to get the nano off on Scooterman's KT, so I, I think that uh, I'd like to see 
as they go into the next team fight, I'd like to see better support positioning from uh, Grevent here. And as long as they manage to put that together, I'm, I'm sure that calculated throw can get back into this game with another good team fighter too. I would have to agree. Dicky going a little bit hard there. Gonna be hit by all the Kale Pops damage, but it's not gonna be enough to break him down. Oof. Cyan gonna take a hit from the Tracer, but not gonna be finished off. And the Tracer. Alright. Backing up. Phoenix is out. Good way to get rid of a lot of Punisher health really quickly with for a low cost ult that it's like. Looks like they're gonna trade this bottom Punisher in favor Whoa. of the uh favor of push pop. Oh, I thought Diva wasn't in her mech and just died to the junk <laughs> red tire there. <laughs> yeah, it did look like that. Well, they managed to get the top fort with Malthail through that, so they still come out ahead on plus one on forts from that whole play and plus two in levels. This is looking to be very found Vikings favored going into the late game so far. But there's still a little more than mid game to play, and I'll be excited to see if they are managed to find. Whoa! Wow! The taunt coming out of the diva. She gets caught in the rotation and goes down. Big pick there from Found Vikings. Wow. Now they're gonna be able to get this forward siege camp and probably push into either the middle or the bottom fort. Let's see which one they decide to go for. Looks like uh, Cyan's also Ooh, gonna pick up an split. extra camp there. Good old Cayenne Pepper getting some uh, work on the Mercs. <laughs> Cayenne. <laughs> You're never gonna, gonna go. Get stopped by Strugans. This is a really bad spot for Cyan. Gonna dodge that, uh, dodge that Stormbolt. That looks like. Oh. Calculated throw might be able to pick this up, but no. Here comes the variant. This is oh. dive from the ETC. Strugans is in trouble. He's gonna get taunted by the variant. Ironware so confident in the rest of his team's ability, he stays to pick up that camp. Oh, Tracer? And Fear is gonna take a ton of damage, oh. and he's gonna get finished off by the junk rat. Oh, I could guess oh. you say they Ouch. now have no fear. Ouch. <laughs> I was gonna Ouch. say that, uh, Cayenne Pepper's, uh, tires have gotten a little bit better since last game. Yeah, no kidding. In the last game, they didn't seem to have a lot of impact in those team fights, but. I also feel like they've been using ETC's global to great effectiveness. They've been able to find a team fight win and a pick now off of this play while keeping their levels ahead. And after they have uh, questionable late game play in the last round on Braxis, I'm glad to see that they've adapted their strategy to shore up some of the weaknesses that were showing. This has been a very big improvement for the Found Vikings. All right, now Found Vikings up 16s. Buddha, what can this calculated throw team do to get back into this game? Well, with all the burst damage on their side, and they just need a bush cheese, really. I think uh, if they can predict where they think the found Vikings are going to go and set up and wait for a, a carry to pass, or if they can find an overextended target like Malthale right now, Malthale and they have right more now, than a little enough bit overextended. Damage to, uh, Tracer is going in for it, but taking a ton of damage. Can the Anna come in? Oh, she is actually Stage going died. to... Uh, that out. All right, Junker in the back there by Muradin. Lots of damage coming out from the Kael'thas, but not enough. I think Fear gave away that play by moving in too early, but oh, it looks like it's still going here. Good uh, rotation there by Fanwike. Yeah, no kidding. A, a well-placed counter gank. That's going to stop the key uh, calculated throw from getting back in here for sure. But still, as I said, I'd like to see a lot more bush cheeses. Bush cheeses are the best way to make a comeback when you have burst damage. And if they can get on top of Alex Straza or on top of Junkrat, they would have very easy 4v5 team fight on the next point here. Teams are very split right now. Let's see if they can come together and form a form a fight here. Strugan's in the back line, taking a ton of damage from that mouth there. But gonna get ulted. Here comes the bomb. It's gonna go on to almost every single member of the Mount Vikings. Big damage, here comes. All right, Tracer out top. of the mech now. Oh, nice. Hardware getting the heal. There's the taunt nice onto the Tracer, and she's gonna go down to the tire. Big damage on the Strugans, but is it enough? Mystic in the back, taking a lot of damage. Mm. Revit not able to save the Muradin, and it looks like the Found Vikings are just gonna take this one down 
three people, or don't, only down two people, it's going to be very hard for Calculated Throw to make any kind of attempt onto this uh, objective. Man, those tires, they're uh, impressing me more and more every time. Yeah, I have to agree. The tires All have right. been dealing big damage. In these Look teams. at this Alex Straza oh, leading dive? those minions out of the bomb. ATC stage dive, oh, oh. Revan in the back taunted. Is they're gonna be able to finish off the Anna? They don't finish off the Anna. Oh, he gets out. Be able to get out of there, huh? ETC still on top of her, taking a lot of damage from that bomb. Gonna spread it to Junkrat. He is also gonna be low. Anna boosted Scooterman is over now. He's gonna push forward with a couple bombs, but I oh, don't know. It's gonna be enough. Oh, oh what a oh, sleep! He gets that clutch heal off. Look at those heals coming out from Sailor Sky. Ironware still in the front there. Maltheo finally comes up, but ETC does go down. Big bombs coming out from Kael'thas. Now five to four in calculated throws uh, favor, but there's a punisher on the field. Drugan's getting a little bit caught out there. Going to be doing a lot of taking oh, a lot of damage. Hit. The taunt onto the Anna. Are they going to be able to finish her off? Yes, they are. Big damage here. Whoa, oh my goodness, man. the damage doesn't quite kill the Diva. She managed to get out. Drugan's also on the Meridian, able to get back out there. Only losing Anna, but that is a big pick for them. This team is going to be able to siege very easily now. Let's see what they can do with this Punisher. Alright, the bomb coming out from D.Va. It's not going to catch anyone. They're all just going to move back. Lots of damage come out here from this Punisher. I don't think it's going to be able to get this keep. Yeah, definitely not enough for a keep, but they have full control over the map. They've broken now top side wall, and they've broken bottom side wall off that one play. They've got a three level advantage, and as long as they don't drop anything before 20, I really don't see Lost Vikings losing this game without a big comeback play being made from count calculated throw. I almost said counter throw, but that'd be a, <laughs> an entirely different situation there. <laughs> Junkrat, once again, is uh, interestingly being able to put out that damage. He is the leading damage dealer right now in this game. Well, I mean, those bombs have been absolutely massive. The uh, rip tires, I should say, not bombs. Been coming in for huge damage in all of these team fights, getting usually two or three people. It's really going to add up on your damage charts. Not to mention that they've been really impactful damage in each fight so far as well. All right, calculated throw now on talent here with all five members up. This is opportunity to take a fight and win if they can. If not, well, it's going to be 20. And that's going to be really, really hard for them to come back. Struke is getting a little bit cut out there. However, Mystic taking a ton of damage gonna be able to get the bomb off she is but it isn't gonna hit anybody here in the back taking a lot of damage the bomb is not gonna hit anyone this is coming back in with the mech damage onto fear and scooterman that back line is looking very very squishy here comes the rip tire is it gonna find anyone no it's not gonna find anna but it's not doing too much there strug is gonna be able to jump back over the wall damage on the contender that bomb is gonna be healed right back up this this alex Raza has been playing out of her mind yeah sailor's guy is an incredible player here in D. Definitely looking like they're going to be able to carry their team up to the next level of play at the end of this NGS season. I'm, I'm hoping they play like this in all their matches. It really makes you wonder how good the Fountain Vikings could be with just a little more practice. I would also like to see, see that. I'm enjoying a lot of the. Uh, constant pressure they're putting on too. They've made sure not to let up on the camps at any point. Oh man, but being down 20, it's pretty much a do or die situation now for a calculated throw if they don't want this one to end in a draw. But so far they just keep soaking it out. They haven't made any proactive plays towards trying to make a comeback. So I feel like they're at this point just conceding. 20. Do they concede the next Punisher and lose the key? and Varian coming in here looking for that final push. Big damage coming out from Kael'thas, but not going to be quite enough. Sound Vikings want to end oh. it right here before their enemies get 20. Stun coming out there. Big damage onto Kael'thas. From Kael'thas, rather. That, that bomb not actually getting that much value. Are they so blocked? Can it find anyone? Maltheo is going to teleport out of there, but Varian is going to fall. ETC in the back taking a ton of damage. 
Trugans in the front, getting that in. Contender oh. gonna fall to a bomb by Tracer, and Anna is two down for nothing. Calculated throw, making an excellent fight there. Though, is I'm it gonna Jesus. be enough for them to come back in the game? <laughs> ah. Wow, I don't know what to say. I, I can't believe they actually won in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about pulling off an absolutely majestic play. The Diva Bomb from Mystic won the whole fight. It blocked three people for a huge portion of time. Guaranteed damage on two. Got him a kill. Split the team. Like, after the majestic Gul'dan play last game, you would think that Mystic would make another big play of that caliber in this game. And they absolutely delivered with that Diva Bomb, keeping calculated throw in the game. They hit, win the Punisher. They clear both of the Merc camps that were pushing on their base for keeps. They may not be matched on talents yet, but that might have been the play of the game right there from Calculated Throw. It may be the one that gets them back into this game. The Punisher jumping over there. ETC not sticking around to get wailed on. Varian now back in the fight. Malveil also coming back down. Mystic taking a bunch of damage from this uh, tower. Fort, rather. There's the Punisher. And it pushes on a keep, but I think they're just going to be satisfied with the fort here, cleaning up a bunch of camps and soaking it out for 20. Going any deeper than that is going to just be too risky, I feel. And after after making a fight like that, you don't want to risk anything. You just want to get back in the game on even footing and see if you can win it on the next Punisher round, or at least yep, that's what I expect to see. Well, Big Here plays coming in. Or Anna in the front there, but gets the stun off. Strugan's in the front. A big bomb coming into the back. Spear is going to be taken down to half life. ETC in the back, going to be looking for the stun, but actually just gets isolated. Oh, Murden! And ETC. Murden and ETC both fall into one to one. Both tanks are going down. But 20s now for calculated throw. They are on even talent tiers. They are getting pushed top. I don't think it's going to get a keep, but. Wow. wow. All right. <laughs> calculated throw managing to uh, calculate their way back into this game. I like uh, I like seeing the uh, infinite bomb spread on KT. He's been landing lots of really nice bombs, and that's just going to become that much nicer. Yeah, no kidding. I think uh, with the amount of damage Cyan's been doing on Junkrat here, KT has to go for some sort of really big, impressive level 20 talent in order to keep Calculated Throw in the game. It's a, a smart pickup for the situation. Even though uh, I, I think teams should be able to avoid bomb spread as they play together, the fact that his bomb spread has been so excellent, there's no reason to not continue to play into what's been really helping Calculated Throw to make such a massive comeback here. But now, with the last fight looming just over the horizon, who do you guys think has it? Who's going to pull it out here in the late game? That is a Boy, hard really one. Hard <laughs> the way Calculated Throw has been uh, playing these last two fights in particular has been very, very surprising and excellent. Calculated Throw now making the aggressive play towards the enemy camp. It's going to be a lot of damage. Drink. Back Ooh. button. Huge bomb! Revit? It's Anna in the back and she is gonna go down. It is not looking good for Calculate. Cyan in the back also taking a ton of damage, but he is able to get out of there. Thank you to the great healing oh, from Sailor Scooter Sky. Man. Big damage onto Scooterman. He is also gonna go down. Mystic is also very low. Spear in the back, unable to do anything. Strugan's trying to get out of there. Mystic gonna be dead on the ground. Taunted. The Murden is gonna fall. Terran, uh, sorry, Tracer not gonna be able to do anything there. Bomb coming out. Oh, but what a knee! Dodge, what a dodge. I don't, unfortunately don't think she's going to be able to make it out of there. And the five-man sweep from Calculated Throw. I think here they just go for four. Or... Oh, man, they're missing an opportunity right here. The game is over. Everyone I mean, on the other side is down for so They won the long. game and are getting the bruiser camp. Ooh, that's not what you like to see, but I guess they just don't feel they have the kind of auto attack damage to go on the core. Hopefully in future, if they can get a clean sweep like that in late game, I'd like to definitely see them just end the game. Keep some quarters well, don't have that like kind of got, defense. Uh, some differing opinions. Iron were going straight for that keep, but uh, Junkrat and Alex Strauss are going for that Punisher instead. In the end, I guess the safe play uh, could be to just grab the Punisher, but I think we have to talk about Grevin's positioning in that last fight. Definitely pushing in way too far. 
on the side of calculated throw goes down as they're on it instantly and as we said earlier in this match the key to the match is who's ever side support plays better and Grevin's been getting picked a lot here in these in this game in general and definitely in that last fight it was a uh, very heartbreaking to watch that tire just loom right over as etc is standing right there <laughs> You have to imagine, just sitting there, no, and boom, right in his Sad face. Sad orchestra plays. <laughs> A tiny violin, just for Driven. A little exchange of stuns there from the Varian and the Muradin. And here we go, here comes the push, the jump onto Muradin. He's not going to be able to miss out there, the bomb coming in. Oh, is it going to be coming in? Going in for the back. Big damage oh. on the Mystic. And he is going to go down right there. Bomb on the contender, but it's not going to matter. What a huge, huge play there. Die. ETC jumping in, but Varian is going to go down. Now this calculated third team has no front line. Dreven going to get stopped there by Varian. Fear in the back getting killed by Malthale. Scooterman going to get hit by that bomb. The desperate struggle to stay alive. But at this point... That Punisher and the five-man team are going to be able to bring down that core. Scooterman definitely trying to get his damage in. Not going to be enough, though. Huge amounts of heals coming out from Alex Straza. 30%, 25%. The jump onto Tracer. She's going to go down 15%. There is nothing that this fun Vikings team can do. It is going to be one-to-one. -one. Good game. That was definitely a well-played game there from the found Vikings to tie the series. That's what you like to see.